Good evening. We start tonight with a follow up to a K Texas investigation into a local pastor and a candidate for the Abilene City Council. At issue, Scott Beard's Fountain Gate Church, a tax exempt place of worship. But the IRS has the final say on whether he crossed the line. And after our sit down with Beard, the story took a new turn and tone. K Texas reporter Karina Hollingsworth is following the story and has more on what happened. Uh, let me say this we're going to shout hallelujah on the way out. Uh, I hear there's some dude running for city council, and you might can get his signs out in the foyer. I'm just saying they're out there. If you don't have a sign in your yard, put one in your yard. I don't know who the dude is, but I, I hear he's good looking. Last week, this video had many questioning whether or not Scott Beard, the pastor of Fountain Gate Fellowship Church and candidate for city council, separated politics from the pulpit. Beard contacted K Texas News with what he said was an important update from the Texas Ethics Commission. Basically, we've been completely exonerated. Uh, the, I can read part of this to you. It says the complaint does not comply with the legal and technical form requirements for a sworn complaint filed with the Texas Ethics Commission. The commission must reject the complaint if it does not comply with certain legal and technical form requirements. The complaint questioned whether or not Beard violated Tax Code 501c3, which states 501c3 organizations, including churches, must not participate in or intervene in any political campaign on behalf of or in opposition to any candidate for public office. When we reached out to the Texas Ethics Commission, the executive director, J.R. Johnson, said they have no dealings with 501c3 and gave the following quotes. Texas Ethics Commission is charged with administering and enforcing Texas Texas laws related to, among other things, campaign finance, lobby registration, and political advertising. It does not have the jurisdiction to enforce or administer federal tax. Not broken any law. We actually contacted the TEC before any of this happened. When asked if he would proactively contact their IRS, who handles 501c3, like he proactively contacted the TEC, Pastor Beard responded. We wouldn't reach out to the IRS. There are no plans for us reaching out to the IRS. There's no need to. Michael Davis, who lives down the street from Fountain Gate Fellowship Church, said when he goes to church, he only wants to hear the sermon. I can do my thing with God anywhere, but if I want to be with that community of people, I need to get to that building. And without talking about any of the politics. Of Pastor Beard says he's ready to put all of this behind him. And I'm just ready to kind of put the story to rest, to say that we've not broken any law. But Beard was not done talking. He followed me to my car and told me I better not make this about the IRS. When I got in my car and closed the door, he yanked my door open and then he said this. Beard, please step please, away from my car. I will. Please step away from my car. Well, please work with me. I no, sir. Well, we're done. Here, have a good day. Our thanks to Karina. Scott Beard's running for place four on the Abilene City Council.